So we've seen the application of robotics in general surgery, we're seeing its expansion into other service lines, and I think as time goes on, we're really going to see its presence in the guidelines um, expand as well. Welcome to Periop Talk, making surgery safer one podcast at a time with brief, practical information for you to take back to the OR. I'm Lisa Spruce, the Senior Director of Evidence-Based Perioperative Practice at AORN. Hi, I'm Renee Wright, Perioperative Practice Specialist here at AORN. Renee, minimally invasive surgery, such a great revision of this guideline. What are the recommendations that are new or different? Well, Lisa, that is a great question to ask. Um, Recommendations that are new for this update really center around assessment, collaboration, and communication. So we added some recommendations to help nurses in their pre-op assessment of patients undergoing MIS procedures um, to help identify risks going into surgery. And then we also included guidance on what signs to watch for that might be indicative of intraoperative complications, um, like gas embolism or excess fluid absorption. We added some guidance to support collaboration among periop team members and discussions on room readiness, uh, communication when there's obstacles, like the physical separation of the team when they're using certain robotic platforms, um, preparation for conversion to open procedures and emergencies. And then also related to these three concepts, we have some new recommendations for magnetic resonance imaging safety. Nice. So tell me what tips would you give your nurses um, if they were looking to implement a project or initiative or something like that? Yeah. Well, I would say that if your facility is looking to implement like a project or an initiative that improves the care of patients undergoing MIS, uh, by all means, and then I think, Lisa, you can really speak to this with your involvement in the nurse, uh, the nursing research committee, you want to evaluate your project or the protocol that you implemented. Um, you really want to study that effect that it's had on your organization and of course patients, and then you want to write it up and submit it for publication because we need nurses to continue building kind of on that body of nursing knowledge. And that's only going to happen when you disseminate and publicly share uh, the work that you've done and the impact that it's had. And this can even include efforts that maybe aren't successful because you want, you know, sharing those lessons learned really helps others see kind of what works and what doesn't so that we can formulate even better solutions to the problems that are out there. Renee, we were in the hospital in the summer of 2023 in a hybrid room, and it was so amazing to be in there. I think there were so many cool things about that room. What what were your thoughts about it? I thought it was so neat, the displays that they have in the room, um, to see how they can really tailor those views to show, you know, just what they need and nothing more, nothing less, right? Or you can zoom in on one part of an image. Um, I've also seen, I think earlier at Expo this year, 2023, um, that cords are starting to disappear. We're seeing a lot of wireless technology, even in, you know, our arthroscopic cameras and um, scopes and wireless in that end. So you're not going to have a camera cord. You're not going to have a light cord. You don't have to worry about the nurse doesn't have to worry about plugging it in or having this core that you could trip over um, or run over or something like that. Um, so everything is just contained in the hand of the person who's performing the procedure. And so there's so many less things to worry about. Um, and I think, you know, as we move forward with that sort of technology and the displays, um, we're just going to continue to see so many more advancements and kind of a simplification of things on our end of what we have to do and take care of. Enjoyed the episode? Please like, comment, and subscribe. For additional periop content, look for us on Instagram at AORNPix and on Facebook and LinkedIn at AORN. You can also find us at AORN.org. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>